I was at a night event. Hold on. Night event. So I figured that I wouldn't be able to make a SmackDown review for Thursday. So I'm gonna do it Friday. We have SmackDowns Friday to nowadays, so it wouldn't be that much of a stretch. I'm not gonna try and make this ha a habit. This is sort of a one-time thing, but I had fun there, so it was kind of worth it. In order to compensate, however, today I'm going to make another Q&A, two days away from my last one. And it's from Darwin's Hamster again. Always a big pleasure to have him ask me questions. I think he's a brilliant man. Also... Shout out to, and I normally don't do shout outs, but there's a new user named Far Westman. I think he's the most underrated guy on YouTube. Definitely subscribe to him. He's probably the most brilliant person I ever met on the internet. And you should definitely subscribe. At least second most. Now... Question number, first question I'm going to answer, it's about related to a psalm sheet. Now, a psalm sheet is one of the usernames for my other YouTube account, which is based off a website I made in 2009, and I never really had much of a use for it, so it's kind of inactive now. He kind of connects it to the Psalms from the Bible. Now, this is an interesting thing. I wanted to create a rock band when I was 14 years old. Not really 14, maybe in my late years as a 13 year old. One, one or the other. No, I was 14. Man, I'm fucking with my own brain. 14, yeah. It was called. I wanted to make a band called a Psalm Sheet. I wanted to make it for some of my friends, however, it never happened. I'm still doing a lot of guitar work, of course, so it's all good in the hood. There's no fighting, but a psalm sheet was a subliminal message. You say a psalm sheet really fast, and it the general gist is I wanted it to roughly sound like awesome shit, like a psalm sheet, a psalm sheet, a psalm sheet. So awesome shit. Subliminally, I wanted it to be awesome shit. A psalm sheet. A psalm sheet. I, I don't know how I made that connection back then. Maybe the way I pronounced it is different from the way I pronounce it now. Granted, that's a possibility. Some shit. Oh, it's possible. You can you can make it sound like that. And I did like subliminal messages. I like things that sounded like curse words. I really enjoyed profanity and the vulgar. And for those of you who watch a lot of my videos, you know that I'm a very vulgar guy. Some of it is the fact that my sense of humor hasn't really changed or matured much. I still have. Same interest in gross, profanity, vulgar, negativity. I don't think it's a part of me that you're ever going to lose. It comes, it comes with the gentle shit. Let's see. Are there any smaller... Wrestlers that succeed against overwhelming odds. This is related to like how back in the days big wrestlers were baby faces, and they were most professional wrestlers are really big and muscular. Well, there's a lot of small wrestlers that are really successful too. We all know about the Luchadors, Sin Cara, Rey Mysterio. When you're doing a lot of high flying and high risk maneuvers, like Sentons, Swanton Bombs, Splashes, Shooting Star Presses, a lot of maneuvers like that where 
you're jumping from the top rope, you're going to have to be a little bit smaller. Also, if you're basically more agile and you rely on that instead of being really big and muscular, which might make you slower. So there's Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara. On the other side, you got the technical indie wrestlers, the ones that are outside of the mainstream counterculture shit and they refuse to get big and muscular. You got guys like Chris Hero, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Daniel Bryan. I think I, think I said CM Punk. Uh, you, got, you got guys like that who... Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Davey Richards, they mean a lot of Eddie Edwards. Every time I think I'm out of name, Paul London, Shannon Moore, the list is endless, practically. There's a lot of guys, and I wish I was more proficient in understanding smaller wrestlers. Also, a lot of guys in Japan aren't big and ripped and those guys are hardcore as it can get little homework for you watch barbed wire matches in Japan that's where they fight in a ring that's covered in barbed wire it can get pretty hardcore in Japan uh, What makes me think I'm clumsy? Well, I wouldn't say I'm clumsy as much as I'm the kind of guy that... There, there's an innocence in me that's still there. It hasn't been lost. Kids are usually young and naive. And that innocent vibe eventually leaves in a cold reality. A reality of survival. A reality of hypocrisy nowadays and that kind of leaves you but there are some people that don't lose that innocence in a way there's like still a child in them they have a child at heart personality and that's kind of where I might make a few mistakes I get confused easily at some things not because they're complex but just because sometimes I act like a kid that's lost in this world and of course there is that brooding darkness where I act like I'm really aware of all the bullshit that happens around me too so while there is that prevalent innocence I can describe myself and it kinda makes me act a little it, it does translate into being uncoordinated in some ways. I'm not a sports guy. I'm not athletic in terms of the basketball, football, hockey, and shit like that. But that's because I don't practice those shits. And why don't I practice them? I don't know. Definitely in interested in doing some sports in the future. Just to keep my body fresh. In a few days, I'll be hitting the gym. A real gym, not Planet Fitness, where they... Have you work out in machines and eat peaks at the end of the day? Okay, next. And last, this time I got really fucking defined. Dursky. Now in my high school, there's a word girls like to use. It's a fake word called toti. Or totito. And they basically use it and it means whatever you want it to mean. There's another word they created similar to it, but it's whatever you don't want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them synonymous. Since I don't know what Dursky is, I'm going to have to fake it till I make it. Because there's a gun to my head. That's what you're saying. If someone were to put a gun to my head and tell me to define Dursky, how would I define it? I'm going to go for broke and say, fake it till I make it. And go on and say, it means whatever you want it to mean. And God help my soul. <sighs> but this is the way I'm compensating for not being able to make a SmackDown review because that would involve me watching an hour and a half of a SmackDown and then making a review and 
I don't have that time. But I will for tomorrow, definitely. I always have a lot of free time on my hand for you guys and in case somebody needs me. So there you go.